Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for stopping by to check out this video. As always, thank you for your support and thank you for all of your kind comments. Um, they really help support this channel. And if you want to support this channel even further, uh, you can subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials uh, that I will be uploading on this channel. So today, we are going to make a scoreboard, a counter together. Um, so I had a few requests for this. Uh, so then I would like to show you guys how to do that. It's quite simple. You just need to know two things. Uh, actually, um, you just need to use two things uh, for the scoreboard. Um, so first, you want to grab your shape tools. Uh, any shape is fine. Um, let's just go with the traditional like rectangle shape or square shape. Uh, draw a square anywhere on your screen here. Um, don't worry about the color right now. We'll change that later. Um, then you want to put a number in here. Um, anything is fine. Any fonts you want is up to you. Use whatever font you want. So let's, I like to use Porky, so I'll use that one. And uh, we'll make it a little bigger so you can see. And type in your number here. We'll start with zero. And now, uh, let's, okay, let's remove uh, the outline. We don't need the outline. And maybe we will change the color as well. Any color is fine. Um, let's do pink here. I'll make the font a little bigger so you guys can see. All right. So there we go. There we go. We have a shape and a number inside the shape. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to animate it. So click on the shape, go to animation, the animation tab, and choose exit effect and we're going to choose um, disappear okay so that one um, we want to set the uh, the timer on click all right and now you want to copy it again copy this and paste it right here so I'll show you guys so we'll just move this here we're, go we're going to make uh, nine of these and uh, make sure you keep track of it um, maybe make sure you label it so I'll open my selection pane here so this one will be we'll call this one one and the first one we'll call it zero and we'll put one in here copy paste and we'll call this one two. And we'll label this number two. Copy, paste, etc., etc. So you're going to do this nine times. If you guys like my uh, content and my materials, don't forget to put a thumbs up. It would really help out this channel a lot. So we'll do number five here. Let's see, we'll do six here. We'll do six. And we'll call this six. Um, this one will be seven. And we'll call it number seven. We'll call the square number seven. And then we'll call this one eight. Eight. Finally, nine. 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 All right. So the ninth one. 
we want to make sure it's yeah we want to make sure it's behind so um that it's not in the front so what we can do is go to arrange and send it to the back now it's behind eight actually um Should have done it this way. Let's see. Send to the back. There we go. Now we want to arrange this uh, so it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Sorry, five, come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, should be behind, right? Now, what you want to do is, um, we have all of these animation right here. And now we have to make another one. Uh, like I said, you just need to do two animations for this, uh, disappear and, ap and appear. So we're gonna highlight everything. Go to animation, and we're going to choose up here, right here, up here. Okay. So now we are going to uh, make triggers for it. So zero, trigger, zero. Remember we labeled it in the um, selection pane. Now you can find it easily down here. That we want to do for each one. So one to one, two. Two, three, two, three, four, two, four, and so on. If you guys like my tutorial and you want to see more uh, tutorials like this, uh, please leave a comment. Um, below um, to let me know which what kind of tutorial uh, you would like to see me do and I'll do my best to uh, make a video on that all right I think we got the last one we got nine make sure we have everything oops this one should be six uh, let's see one two three four five six accidentally made it this down here but uh, it should be here somewhere but uh, it's all right and now what you want to do is highlight everything here so click on the first one I hold shift I'm using a MacBook um, it might be different on your uh, version of uh, PowerPoint or a platform that you're using mine's a MacBook so I click on the first one hit shift I click on the last one and then I want to go to timing um, after previous okay now just drag it under here I'm sorry um, so drag number one under zero number two under one uh, number three under two so what this is telling um, it to do is when you click on zero you click on zero zero will disappear and one will appear right after it so after previous and then when you click on one the one will disappear and two will appear after that and so on okay so we're under so we got three so i need number four number four five and so on I think you got the idea okay uh, oops not five sorry I made a mistake but that's okay you can just drag it right here three four five six uh, Six, 
8 8 there 9 9's under 8 and then when you hit 9 it'll go back to 0 loop back to 0 all right so let's test it out let's hit the play button here oops why is that still there 7 on click Say five, four, and a seven. Hmm. Okay, looks good. All right, now what you want to do is you want to group them together. Just highlight everything here. Go to Shape. Go to Align Middle, and then Align Center. And there you have your scoreboard. Let's test it out. Yep. And now what you can do is you can put little sound effects with it. So click on the first one here. I hit shift. I go to the bottom. And then we choose effect, sound. I choose the clicking sound. And now you can copy uh, the whole thing. Paste it. Paste it again. And now you have your scoreboard. So let's test it out. All right, it looks like it's working. All right, there is your scoreboard um, encounter. Like I said, you can uh, use different shapes, different fonts, different colors. It's all really up to you. Um, you can use it in a game. Um, I made a game here using the click, uh, using the scoreboard and the timer. Um, this is a, an experimental game I'm making. It's called a Bomberman. So you have to put in the right time into the, the bomb here to deactivate. So um, they choose a sentence, and maybe if you choose this one, hit deactivate. That was the wrong one, so let's try the first one here, the first sentence. <laughs> All right, that was the right answer. I hope you guys uh, find this tutorial useful. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get more materials like this. Also, if you want to see other videos or tutorial, please leave a comment below so I know uh, what to do for the next video. As always, thank you for checking out my video. I hope to see you at the next video. And I wish you the best of luck in your classes.